Hey Gemini, welcome to your WLC Weekly Love Connections Reading. This will be for those of you who are wanting to get insights with regards to your love connections. To all my subscribers, thank you for stopping by once again. Information about my personal readings as well as my extended readings are all in the description box below. Also, um, you can also find more information in my um, website, nomadsoulwarrior.com. There are a lot of extended um, readings in there that you can um, enjoy. All right, so go and visit if you're um, inclined. All right, Gemini, let's go ahead and do your reading. What do we have for Gemini in love? I hope everybody is staying well. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and Jupiter. In love, we have the Page of Cups, the Knight of Cups, the Five of Coins, Six of Cups, Two of Coins, Nine of Swords, the Star, the Two of Wands, and the Hangman. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Wands. Alright, so someone here um, has been contemplating about a possible reconnection, um, reconciliation perhaps, after walking away. After walking away from a connection. Yeah. Primarily because, you know, there is still that attraction to one another. Or this could be um, an effort of someone in this connection, either you or the person that you're dealing with, to ignite the passion, to reignite the passion in this connection, you know. After, yeah, there's been some waiting that has happened in the recent past with the, in this connection, yeah. And I could see, Gemini, that um, the challenge here is that starting to reach out, there is no one who's going to, no one, either you or them, is um, making the move of expressing how they feel or um, opening up to the other party. Mm -hmm. But I feel that both of you still would like to have, still has the same interest in this connection. Both of you are still longing for one another. Both of you are still thinking, yeah, thinking and missing one another. And um, both of you still have that eagerness to, you know, that wanting to come forward and, and make that offer of, you know, expression, being sweet, lovey-dovey perhaps for some of you. But it's it's more like there is this energy of both of you planning and wanting to reach out to express how you feel. But even if possibly you are both communicating via text, via call, the topic of how you feel about one another, of expressing how you feel, has never been opened. It's never been discussed. Mm -hmm. It's never been discussed. And you, Gemini, I do feel that you are missing this person a lot. You've been thinking about them deeply. There's so much love that you have for this person. Mm -hmm. And um, I feel that you are not um, doing really a lot of, um, you know, uh, moving forward or any action towards them. Because maybe you don't want to rock the boat of where you're at right now. You don't want to, if anything else, if you want to reignite the passion, possibly. Yeah, but not to the extent of, you know, let's say you, you talk and then again you would go into arguments and all that. You don't want to rock the boat. You want to avoid um, any or unnecessary um, arguments here. But you've been pretty stuck in this situation for a while now. 
you've been wanting this, you've been longing for this, but apparently, you know, it is not, this connection is not going as to how you want it to be. Yeah, it could be for a while now that you're just starting to miss this person so much. Thinking about the good times you've shared, where they're at right now. And um, especially with this condition that we have, it's, it's pretty difficult to really um, set up and uh, meet up if you're not together. This is you, I feel like, you're trying to just um, keep yourself afloat, balance, yeah, day by day. But I do see that you're wanting to, to make this um, emotional connection established here. Mm -hmm. But no one is talking, no one is expressing how you feel, no one is... <laughs> No one is initiating. Mm -hmm. There's so much passion here, and um, I feel that it's this is just going to keep boiling inside for a while. Mm -hmm. For some of you, this is also like you miss each other per you know each other's hugs and kisses and all that. So something like that. With regards to the person that you're dealing with. Um, Well, they have faith for this connection. They still want this. And this person, I feel, has, has gone to some um, isolation or, you know, going within, trying to do their own self-internalization um, of the situation. If in the past there were reasons, Gemini, that you may have, um, you may have had, um, knowing that, you know, perhaps maybe this person is no longer interested in all that, the way they respond to you, the way they deal with you, you may feel that they are no longer interested or, you know, there, there could be a lot of reasons how things would have panned out between the two of you in the past. But I do feel that those things that you have encountered with this person, I feel that someone here is beginning to realize, you know, the impact of their actions beginning to realize and um, has been awakened to the fact that you know this connection is is such um it's it, this is a connection that is not good to lose or that is not uh good to just um, leave it behind your person is realizing that this is a connection that they want this is the connection that is meant to be in their life some realizations right here yeah it could be the time apart um, that you had and this person you know has begun to realize that well without gemini life would be a little bit different not to what they have probably expected it to be and i can see that there is this sense of renewal yeah sense of faith from your person that um, at some point in time, hopefully, things can be healed up and um, you can get back to your whatever normal was, was it for you in the past. Yeah? Get back into each other's good graces, perhaps. They are still eyeing for this connection, in fact. Mm -hmm. In terms of possibly, you know, reaching out to you and offering you and express how they feel about you, this person is thinking about it, still thinking about it, gauging, and trying to decide how to go about it, how to make themselves known to you again, how to express how they feel. If an apology is required, how to say that, how to express that, yeah? This is a person who is um, at the crossroads right now in doing that or just staying still for now, yeah. But as of the moment, while we're doing this reading, this person is pretty much staying still, trying to see what's um, the best course of action, um, how to go about um, healing this uh, connection relationship with Gemini, yeah. And, and I feel that they are getting more perspective on this also you know the way you respond to them possibly in the last few weeks 
if um, you have been very careful about not rocking the boat, this may have given this person another, you know, change of perspective. Change of perspective, but during the time um, during this time frame, though, I feel that your um, the outcome during this time frame is that um, for now you may not be um, getting back together just yet, yeah. Because here you would still feel that lack of um, attention, lack of care from one another, yeah. It feels like, you know, you are still not, you, you probably are in each other's energy fields right now. But the doors are open, communication lines are open, but you haven't really met in the center just yet. That's, that's what I feel, yeah. And I feel that these um, energies would flow in the next few weeks. Let's see, I think April would be an interesting month for you. For some, I could also feel that um, somebody here, either you or them, could also have some concerns about finances, concerns about living conditions and all that. Hope everything is okay we'll, or will be okay. Okay, so that's what I have for you. Um, Gemini, I hope this gives you insights. Um, I won't have any extended for this week because I'm pretty packed with uh, my work schedule. And... Um, yeah, I hope this gives you insights and um, I hope you enjoy it. All right. Thank you, everybody. And um, I wish you well.